At Star Wars Celebration this morning, along with all the other big Star Wars announcements, Ray coming back for a new movie after the sequel trilogy, Dave Filoni's movie, all these different things that they announced. They also put out a new trailer for Indiana Jones 5 and the Dial of Destiny. And if you happen to be at Celebration, you even got like a six minute preview of the movie itself. And to no one's surprise, there was a certain line in there that got a lot of people's attention. A line that was delivered by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. And we're sitting through an era in Hollywood where, you know, if you go to see Ant-Man from Disney, you get a message that socialism is actually a good thing. Well, it turns out if you go to an Indiana Jones movie, you might get the message that capitalism is a bad, evil thing. Christian Toto, the new Indiana Jones trailer set to make a gazillion dollars, even if it stinks, mocks capitalism. So on brand for Hollywood, no? And yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a listen to the little joke that's put in there about capitalism from Phoebe Waller-Bridge herself. And the, the irony is that this movie, Disney, uh, imagine Disney taking a shot at capitalism, but this movie needs to make almost a billion dollars just to break even. This movie's going to rely on some capitalism to actually make a profit. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare for Disney. They revealed the budget for this thing already. Nearly $300 million. And that's what Disney says the budget is. You factor in all the marketing on top of that. You factor in that in all likelihood, there's some other extra costs added in there. This is a movie that at a minimum needs to probably hit nine. million hundred million dollars just to break even and with the way things are going for disney with the way things are going for lucasfilm a lot of people have a tough time seeing that happen but here here is that uh, that little line in there that has a lot of people's attention today with this i will correct them all you stole it then you stole it and then i stole it it's called capitalism from, from Phoebe Waller-Bridge, again, who plays uh, the goddaughter of Indiana Jones in this thing. As soon as she got attached to the project, so many people started speculating about what her role would be. She does have a couple insufferable lines in this. Uh, but the idea that you stole it, then I stole it, then I stole it, that's called capitalism is just such a joke. And, of course, it's just a little line. It's just a little joke. It's just one little line in the trailer, I'm sure. No messaging like that would be in the movie. Disney wouldn't do something like that. Lucasfilm wouldn't do something like that. Sometimes these little things are all it takes for people to say, you know what? I'm not going to give this a chance. I'm not going to go back in and see this movie. And the irony of the entire Indiana Jones 5 saga is if it was George Lucas and Steven Spielberg and they got together and said, hey guys, I know maybe people were a little bit mad on Indiana Jones 4, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but you know what? We've got this idea. We're getting the band back together. Me, you know, George, Steven, we're going to do this together and make one last hurrah for Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones. I would probably be there first fucking weekend. I would probably be there like begging that to give them my money to see another Indiana Jones story because those are the guys who made this thing. But this is current day Lucasfilm. George Lucas not involved. Steven Spielberg detached from this project a long time ago. I think he might still be on board as an executive producer or something, but he has no creative input on this entire thing. It's a James Mangold and Kathleen Kennedy project. And uh, in all likelihood, it's going to be a disaster, going to be a nightmare. They're going to need people to help this thing out. And in the trailer itself, you take a little shot at capitalism. Yes, stealing things. I think maybe I stole it from you, you stole it from me, I stole it from you. That might be taxation you're talking about. Not necessarily capitalism, but uh, just uh, this entire trailer to me um, felt weird and off. The music they used, the Rolling Stones music they used for the first half of the trailer is weird. And then even when they get to the indie theme later, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like they're going for a real epic feel instead of you know the traditional indie which kind of just makes you want to get out of your seat and like run off on an adventure. It just did not feel this way. And there wasn't a ton that we hadn't seen or that we didn't already kind of know was coming in this new trailer, but it just doesn't feel like Indy. And it's sad that this is the last time we're going to see Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones in what looks to be a disaster in the making. And they're going to need a lot of capitalism to make this thing work. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.